can put saran wrap or, or tape or whatever. I just happen to have some shrink wrap. I'm putting that on the front of the, on the front of the nose of the transmission so we don't get any chips inside there. So now we're all set on that. Now I'm going to bring the, the cut the grinder over and start cutting out. cutting out Okay, now it's time to use the saw. Plus the blade isn't deep enough.
Okay. pieces out we can we could probably dress this up a little bit but that's what you have to do all right now the next step is to we can take the this adapter plate we can take the, the dial pin out of here and now we can put the starter bracket on now this starter bracket it'll only go on one way because of the where the location of the bolts are Put that on with a couple Allen wrenches. The slot on the adapter plate allows it to be located in the exact location where it has to be. Now, now this is located, this, as you can see now, how the starter bracket lines up. support bracket on the back of the starter notice this prevent it from moving up and down it wasn't necessary it never had any problem with it but we have a bracket that goes on there and what we do is put this on is a pre-drilled hole up on the adapter to put this on
and tighten that up and then we give you a self-tapping screw we already pre-tapped it already but this is what you're going to do use the self-tapping screw and we'll provide a chuck for you and put that in there and the reason for the bracket is it's just a, a, a precautionary measure because there's a lot of load on the starter as, you're, as it's moving up and down, engaging in the flywheel. But we just put this on just for extra precaution to keep it from coming loose. So there is no problem. We never had a problem with it, but we like to take care of that in that way. And then sometimes sometimes what happens is also another, another thing that, that, that you have to do in the future when you're going to take the starter off, you're gonna take this take take the start the starter out or take the bracket out to change the clutch or something like that. What you're gonna to have to do I'll just give you a little simple demonstration of what happens. When you take it out, that bracket is gonna to have to be push back a little bit. When you're gonna put it, say you take the transmission out, you're gonna change the clutch. What's gonna happen is you're gonna have to, it'll be a little, a little difficult to get that, get this in. You get, See now, what you have to do is you have to pull it back like that. You have to be kicked back a little bit, just a little bit, just so that you can get it in. Otherwise, it's at a 90 degree angle, and then you just have to push it, push it forward, reinstall your screws, and you're all set. I won't bother installing the other screw because you know what has to be done. Ah, might as well do it. Let's not forget about it. Someone's allowed to think we don't need all the screws. Once you run them in like that, make sure you make sure you tighten them. You don't want your starter bracket falling. Having problems. Make sure you tighten up. Good and tight. Then even though the back the bracket is bent back a little bit, it'll go right back into place again. But you really want to put this on because it's a safety feature. This stress on that bracket. That way we don't have any flexing up and down. And that should take care of that part of the installation. Thank you.